Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen and today with one of the latest devices from Billing which is the T4. Now this is one of their latest mini computers they also have several Android TV boxes as we have seen here on the channel and although this is uh, a new device it is using hardware that we have seen in the past. Now let me leave this clear this is one of the ways to get a cheap computer and we'll leave the link down below but it's roughly 100 euros 100 dollars but there are pros and cons one of the pros being a lower price which sometimes is what we are looking for an affordable machine that will let do our work now starting with a very quick unboxing experience once we open the package we will find the b-link t4 inside the box some paperwork and then two hdmi cables one very short hdmi cable which can be very useful to put at the back of a display also a support to put this computer on the back of the display and of course a power adapter regarding connectivity there is something that some of you guys will not enjoy personally i don't really mind but i can see some users being a bit annoyed which are the two usb 3.0 ports at the front especially for those that want to leave this on a front of a tv or a display and want to have a clean desk and if you want to connect a few usb drives for example with cables then there will be a little bit of mess. so in terms of connectivity we have these two we have a 3.5 millimeter jack at the front and also a power button and then one of the sides we have a usb 3.0 i would love to see all the usb ports right over here instead of the front but it is how it is and then there's one empty side and then at the back another usb 3.0 power input jack hdmi output and display output and also a ethernet connection in terms of build quality the plastic is not bad at all and then at the bottom it has a metallic service which will help to dissipate the heat in terms of output we will be able to get 4k in two displays up to 30 hertz which is the maximum resolution that we'll get and specification wise it is using the cpu intel z8500 which is a cpu that we have used in the past something like two years ago three years ago was the first time that we have used one of these cpus now this is a refreshed machine it has four gigabytes of ram ddr3 and 64 gigabytes of flash storage back then we had two gigabytes of ram and 32 gigabytes of flash storage so this is a machine that it's not the latest and greatest in the market in terms of the cpu because it's using the sherry trail uh, generation but it is updated with ram and storage which will give us a little bit more of freedom while keeping the price down now in terms of numbers so that you can compare with other devices and i will leave a playlist down below with more mini computers that we have seen here on the channel but as you can see in geekbench 5 we will get a score roughly 220 on single core score and 657 on multi-core score if we compare with the latest machines that we have seen here on the channel as you can see uh, the numbers are superior and we can do a lot more in terms of multitasking and in terms of applications that will take advantage especially on the multi-thread and on the more powerful cpu and graphics have in mind that if you compare with other machines that we have seen in the past we were testing with geekbench 4 so you will see uh, different numbers and just do your homework if you are comparing machines to machines so just use geekbench 5 at this moment to compare this cpu with other cpus that are on the market on the machines that you are looking for so that you can see the difference between in terms of network it behaved really well wi-fi was great it was getting roughly 250 270 megabits per second on downloads and 200 on upload and then on the ethernet connection was getting the maximum of my gigabit connection as you guys can see right over there and in terms of the flash storage it's not the fastest that we have seen but it's not the slowest either we were getting roughly 70 megabytes per second on writes and 130 megabytes per second on reads now i did all the tests that i usually do in terms of youtube netflix Kodi plex player plex server and then some light gaming and game streaming and if you ask me here robert what is this machine targeted at because it is at a nice budget i want to get it what can i do with it now honestly i would suggest this machine without any problems at all as a player but i would forget about the server option if you want a plex server i would get something different although it's capable you can install plex server right over here and if you want to stream only on your local network then i would say that it's okay like some other network attached storage solutions that we have seen that have similar cpus to this 
uh, computer right over here. But if you want to do some transcoding work and so on, then this will not be the machine to get. On the other hand, if you want a machine with Windows that you can uh, multitasking and use Office, Productivity, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and so on, and besides that, you also want to enjoy some multimedia through Netflix, then it will do a great job. No worries at all. I was able to play 1080 without issues at all. Plex Player gave me a good experience as well. It's not the fastest machine that we see, but it works quite well. And then in terms of Kodi, if you want to use Kodi as a player, then it works well as well and you can just fetch as I did the content that I've got on my network and then you can play movies 1080 blu-ray no issues at all in terms of gaming I would say that this is the limit that we can get these days even to play mobile games that we have available on the Windows Store for example games like Asphalt 9 and things like that this will be the limit I would say that it's the ex the experience is not 100% but it's still playable and don't expect more than this because this kind of computer it's not capable we have seen some other computers that can play find these games and can go a little bit above that play some desktop games and the last ones that we have seen we have played with rocket league as well but they are more expensive and they have more recent cpus more powerful machines than this one so don't expect more than this on the t4 one more thing that i would like to mention right over here for those of you that are looking for a game streaming machine it will be capable i'm not sure if i did recall any images but i did uh, stream from my computer to this computer game stream and it was just a great experience because it has a great gigabit Ethernet port. In terms of game streaming, we have achieved here on the channel with so many machines that it's not an exclusive feature right over here, but I just wanted to share that it's another positive thing. And guys, that's about it. Hopefully this video will help you to decide if this is the machine that you want at this moment for the kind of thing that you are looking for or not. And regardless of your decision, hopefully this video was helpful to decide which one to get. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Huerta George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.